We've been getting lots of concerned phone calls about webbing and trees. You've probably seen there's been a massive outbreak of fall webworms. And we're here with entomology specialist Aaron Ashbrook to tell us more about this insect. Yes, yeah, so right around uh, early springtime, right when buck moths were starting to emerge, we also started to find a lot of fall webworms. And so what they do is they will form aggregations on the tree and create this web area. Now, these are fall webworms that have completed their cycle or have already been treated. Now, what they do is in these areas, they will create a web and feed upon the leaves, skeletonizing them. Now, as far as the damage they will do, they're not problematic as far as a pest insect goes. However, in production environments, as well as areas where we need shade, they can impact both the foliage that provides shade, as well as the fuel that plants need for production of crops. So should we be worrying about this? Do we need to get out there and spray? I mean, for me, it seems like the tree is already coming back. I see new growth and I'm just letting it be for now. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Yes, I agree. If we do not need to treat the fall webworm, I would not suggest we do. However, if we do find that they are impacting our shade as well as our crops that we're trying to produce are fruit and nuts. There are reduced risk products that we recommend you use, such as Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis. Now, what happens is they feed upon the leaves and that will cause mortality in the caterpillars. Okay, so don't worry homeowners. This is just a little bit of a nuisance. There will be a couple more generations as I understand, but it's not gonna cause major destruction to the tree unless you're trying to produce. We actually urge you not to treat and don't worry so much about the webs. Forget it growing. I'm Heather Kirk Ballard with Aaron Ashbrook for the LSU Ag Center.